This week is a monumental time in my financial planning career and in this video I would like to show you based on my own practice why receiving advice from an unaligned practice is so very important when choosing an advisor or a planner you wish to work with. Financial planning has changed and evolved dramatically over the 20 years of my career. That 20 years have gone by in a blink of an eye. But let's be honest, no books, no university, no courses will ever replace professional long-term experience. When I started my career over 20 years ago, financial planning didn't really exist. It was a brand new industry and banks, they jumped on the wagon immediately, seeing this as a great financial profit, influence over their clients' financial decisions and the way to cross-selling between departments hence making more money out of the same people. And hard sale of products started. Those were only products of a particular bank. And I remember back then, all responsibility of a financial advisor was to the product provider, so the employer, and not to the consumer at all, meaning the client. If you are in your 50s or 60s, you might remember those days. But if you are younger, you might open your eyes in disbelief. But as I said, it was just the beginning of a very new industry and we all had to learn. The truth of the matter is that even though as a financial advisor, I was introduced to what you might call sale regime created by those banks. Deep down in my heart, I strongly believed in the benefit of the advice, creating wealth and security for clients and helping them with resolving whatever financial problems they had. Okay, we were limited with product choices. Some of those products were pretty overpriced, but back then that's all we had. That's all that was available. And just like any person who is hungry to learn more, to experience more, to deepen knowledge and become a real professional and a specialist, I changed places of my employment many times from those original banks through to trust offices. Those were great places to work with lawyers to fully understand estate planning, not only from finance standpoint, but from a legal perspective as well. So since that time, estate planning is one of my little niches and specialties that integrates perfectly with retirement planning. And then I decided it was time to move on to a private sector and more of the boutique practice, which also gave me an incredible insight knowledge into running a small business, which is entirely separate set of financial problems and decisions and skills required to run a successful entity. The reason why I'm explaining this all to you is so you can see the variety of experiences that one has to go through to get to the point of fully understanding this profession, not only from the point of the client, but from the point of law, rules, ethics, responsibility, empathy, humanity and financial benefit for both parties. So over those 20 odd years, financial planning has changed from an industry to a real profession that it is today. I cannot be more proud to have been a part of it. And I'm very excited to see where we're going and how invaluable the service of this profession has become. But, and there is always a but, some organizations just don't learn. And only now we start openly talking about it and seeing the real face of a corporate greed, deception, corruption and cover-ups. Just read your daily newspaper or watch your daily news about bank after bank being taken to court by ASIC. If it is not the bank, then the same issue is with a big investment companies or with super funds. So the corporate world is not changing and they keep repeating the same mistakes over and over. But what has changed, and that is a radical change, is financial planning in private hands. Small business people 
those who run their own little practices somewhere in the suburbs that not only are great in what they do, but they really want to help. They really want to look after and support their clients for many, many years. Believe me, a good financial planner deeply cares about their client and their success. And that finally takes me to my first statement of this video. This week is a monumental time in my financial planning career. After 16 years of employment for different companies and practices, seven years of running my own business, but with a license from another organization, although not aligned with any financial institution, that was my requirement right from the start of running my own practice. I finally decided to apply for my own license. And now I am so very excited to confirm that my application was accepted by ASIC and our own license was granted to my practice on 11 November 2021. Talking about taking it slow. What took me over 20 years, young financial planners do in few short years. That's how this profession changed. My name is Catherine Eastbrand from About Retirement. I'm Certified Financial Planner and this is About Retirement TV, the place to provide you with financial information you need if you are preparing for retirement or if you have already retired. And this short introductory and disclosure video has been updated with new details of my own new licensee. Asaya Financial Services. So how is it different to speak to a financial planner like myself that is self-licensed as opposed to a planner who is working for an organization or external licensee? Well, when I speak with you, you can be sure that the only person I care about and want to help is you. I have no association or affiliation with any financial institution or any product provider. So there is really no incentive for me as an advisor or as a planner to convince you about any particular product, which is the case, unfortunately, when you speak uh, with an advisor who is employed by a particular company or a particular super fund. And now with my own license, I took that advice even step further, where my advice to you is not restricted and is not structured by an external license provider. That is a huge benefit for you as a client, as the only parties in these equations are you and me. My advice to you is only restricted by you as a client. There is no external factor apart from legislation, rules and regulations that we both need to obey, of course. You, as a client, set the scope of the advice. You decide how restricted the advice should be. You decide what research you want me to prepare. It is all in your hands and in your control. Obviously, based on our meeting conversation, I will suggest what option would bring you the best benefit and the best outcome. I will explain what work is involved, how much time would be needed and cost associated with providing you with this advice. A client is the only person that remunerates my practice for the work done and support provided. So in one word, the advice can be as comprehensive or as narrow as you need it to be at the time. I have many clients whom I've had the pleasure and privilege to assist for almost 20 years. And what started as a planner-client relationship over the years developed to a relationship that is so much more meaningful. I get to know people, their families, their problems and happiness. And in a small way, I become part of my client's life. 
it gives me a great deal of joy, excitement and appreciation when I see the outcome of my work, when I see my clients feeling secure about their future, when they know their dreams can be fulfilled and when I see a beautiful trusting smile on their faces when we meet. This is priceless to me and that's what financial planning is all about. Yes, I work with numbers. Yes, I can advise you on the best financial strategy, how to reduce tax, how to save better in super, outside of super, how to save for kids, for your grandkids, how to pass your assets safely to the next generation or whoever you want, how to choose investments and everything in between. But what it really comes down to and what is really the most amazing about this service is to see how appropriate planning can help to create a life of security, fulfill dreams and joy. And I am thrilled that through my work, knowledge and experience, I can be a part of this creation and a small part of my clients' lives. If you enjoyed this heartfelt, deep reflection video of mine, so different to all the other videos, please connect with me. Give this video a like and please subscribe. But the easiest way to stay connected is to visit my website about retirement.com.au. You will find lots of information there to help you improve your preparation for retirement or your existing retirement setup. While you are there, please sign up to my newsletter to be kept informed of any changes that can impact your retirement planning. So now let's go back to reality. Time is money as they say, so check out those videos. The first recommended lot is all about superannuation strategies and how to improve your super balance for your retirement, how to grow your super smartly, effectively and efficiently. The second lot of videos is for you if you have already retired and wish to improve your retirement income, assets and lifestyle. I will talk to you in my next video. All the best.